Welcome back to my channel, you guys. Today we're gonna be cooking with my air fryer. I'm gonna cook all of these vegetables and I'm gonna take you guys with me step by step. So first I'm gonna start with just seasoning my vegetables and putting a little bit of oil on them. Today I'm gonna be using grapeseed oil. I found the grapeseed oil is much more healthier than olive, so I've kind of transitioned from olive oil to grapeseed. I'm going to season each one and then put them in the air fryer. But first, I need to preheat. 10 minutes to start. So when the air fryer is ready, it'll beep three times, and then I'm going to throw the first veggie in. Hey. You hear that? Let's get some oil on our kale. Let's season it. Throw it in there. It should take about eight to 10 minutes, which is super fast. I'm just gonna drizzle some grapeseed oil, add a little bit of soy sauce. You can add sesame seeds. I don't like sesame seeds, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna add some garlic powder with herbs. I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic, fresh garlic, fresh chopped garlic, a little bit of pink Himalayan salt, black pepper, so we're just gonna mix it together, make sure that the consistency is the same before we throw it in there. I'm making a mess, great, it's okay. I really like kale chips. They're supposed to be kale chips, but I don't like to cook them until they're too crispy. I like to be able to like still chew without them being so crunchy. And that should be good. See, everything is mixed in. It's looking nice. Now inside the air fryer, it does have like holes at the bottom so all the grease and all the liquid can fall through. I kind of want to keep that liquid for my veggies so that all the flavor just kind of stays in place. Um, so I'm gonna line it with foil and then add the kale. Next, moving on, we're gonna do Brussels sprouts. Now in my Brussels sprouts, I like to make sure they're seasoned really good and they're cooked really well because it took me a long time before I actually liked them. I felt like you have to have an acquired taste to like these. They're very difficult to eat and I don't know. Now I feel like they're a little similar to cabbage, you just have to cook them down and know what to put in them. So I'm just putting pink Himalayan salt with some balsamic vinegar. A little bit of garlic powder is what I put before. Black pepper. For the most part, I cook with the same seasoning. And then some grapeseed oil. Just gonna put a little bit. And then I'm gonna mix these all together. Salt on my shirt. So it looks like it took six minutes and they look delicious. So we're gonna take them out. Perfect. Mm. That's good. So good. So now I'm gonna put my Brussels sprouts in the air fryer since the kale chips are done. The kale chips finished around six minutes. Minish. <laughs> The kale chips finished around six minutes, so that's great. It was sooner than I expected. And I tasted one, it's delicious. Okay, so we have our kale that's done. It looks delicious, it tastes delicious. If you don't have an air fryer, you can also put all of these veggies in the oven, but it's much healthier and much faster and I really like it. It took six minutes. You've seen that it, take, it took six minutes to literally cook these kale chips. I put the Brussels sprouts on 10 minutes, so we're gonna see how long that takes. Moving on to green beans, I'm going to add pink Himalayan salt. It's probably like less than a, a tablespoon. I'd say it's like a little bit over a teaspoon. I just kind of sprinkle it. I wouldn't put too much because you don't want your food to be too salty but I would say maybe like a teaspoon and a half of salt. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of fresh garlic. I love garlic and it's really good for you. Just if you're adding it, make sure that you 
are adding fresh garlic. You can buy it from Whole Foods. It's already peeled. It comes in a pack. You don't even have to like peel it because I know that's a pain. And then I'm just gonna squeeze some lemon. So all I'm using is fresh lemon, fresh garlic, some Himalayan salt, some black pepper, and some grapeseed oil. I'm gonna keep it very simple with this veggie. When I'm seasoning, I like to keep all of my tops off so I can just grab everything and like season and then wipe them down when I'm done. You wanna make sure that your vegetables are all coated with seasoning, oil, the consistency is the same. Okay, and then we're just gonna set that to the side. Drinking my tea. I already had my celery juice today. I have seasoned my green beans already. We're gonna move on to our squash and zucchini. Now our squash and zucchini, I'm going to add soy sauce. I really like using soy sauce. I use a low sodium one from Whole Foods because it can be a little bit salty, but listen, it's not like I'm eating a rack of cheese or I'm eating a loaf of bread. If I can have a little bit of soy sauce, then hey, give me a little bit of soy sauce. You know, it's not gonna kill anybody. Add just a little bit of salt since I already added soy sauce. We're gonna add some crushed red pepper because I like things that are spicy, and I want my zucchini and squash to be a little spicy. We'll add some garlic powder, herbs. This is my favorite garlic powder, it's salt free. I get it from Whole Foods, it's by Frontier Natural Products. I don't know. So then lastly, I'm just gonna add my grapeseed oil. It'll take you like 30 minutes to 45 minutes to make all these vegetables, but it is so worth it to do it this way because then you have veggies already cooked, ready to go in your refrigerator. If you make too much, you can always freeze it and then put it in the oven. I wanna check on the Brussels sprouts, see how they're doing, so. Okay. Not quite ready, so I'm just going to continue to season and continue to prep all my veggies. I'm gonna start with my broccoli. Broccoli, I'm going to add grapeseed oil, some fresh black pepper. Now I'm gonna use this all-purpose all seasoning from McCormick. It's garlic and onion, black pepper, and sea salt. I really like this. Mm, it even smells good, it smells like onions. <laughs> Just gonna put a little bit. Or was that a lot? Trying not to make a mess here, but make sure that every, every piece of broccoli is coated. Okay. <laughs> Last, we're gonna do our sweet potato fries. Mm. I'm just gonna add some oil, a little bit of seasoning, and then pop them in the air fryer. So I'm just gonna put some garlic powder. I'm almost out. Actually, I am out after this. A little bit of salt, just some parsley flakes. Takes a minute to get them all coated. <laughs> Bear with me. I'm gonna add a little bit more, just cause these take a little bit longer and I wanna make sure they're crispy like french fries. So now that everything is prepped and ready to go, I'm just waiting for my Brussels sprouts to come out and then I'll add everything in. Now they're ready. So the Brussels sprouts took a little bit longer just because I like mine to be cooked all the way done, be really crispy. Took about 15 minutes in the air fryer. Next, I'm just gonna throw in the squash and zucchini. Mmm. That looks so good. Okay, next we're gonna put our green beans in for eight minutes. So it's blinking for me to shake. That means I need to shake the veggies, move them around, and let them cook evenly. Green beans are done. Smell really good. Smell like garlic. Mm. 
Next, I'm gonna add the broccoli to the air fryer. I have never cooked broccoli in an air fryer, so this is gonna be very interesting. I think it'll still come out tasty because all of the rest of the vegetables look amazing and they look very tasty, so let's see how they come out. So now that we've completed all of our vegetables, we're gonna put our sweet potato fries in last. They take approximately 15 minutes, so I'm gonna add them in now. So I'm just waiting for the sweet potato fries to be done. I have been sitting here eating all of the kale chips, so I'm gonna make a little bit more, but <laughs> they're so good, so, so tasty. Um, we have about five more minutes, so after the five minutes, I will show you all the vegetables, the sweet potato fries that I cooked in the air fryer. I really love this air fryer. I'm not just saying it because it's an ad or because it's promo. I really, really love it, and I think that it's very convenient. You just throw it in there and it cooks. Okay, one minute more. Thinking about just opening it because, mm, they're done, they're crispy. They look so good, so yummy. For those of you that don't know, I am doing my at-home workout challenge right now. If you have not checked it out, you can visit my page or I'm rock solid underscore fitnesses page and the link is there. You can get all the information about it. I am actually prepping for the challenge that I'm doing. It's four weeks. So I'm showing you guys how I cook my veggies with my air fryer. The next video will be me actually prepping my meals. So stay tuned for next week because I am going to be showing you how much protein I have, how much meat I have, and how I proportion all of these meals. If you don't have an air fryer, it's completely fine. You can put all this stuff in the oven or you can cook it stove top. I'm just showing you a healthier, more convenient way that I like to prep my meals and you see they come out looking delicious. It was so good seeing you guys. I hope to see you next week so you can see how I prep, maybe learn some tips. You can give me some tips in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. Love you guys. See you next week.